Hi, my name is Mike Gorman. Uh, I work for Marco Precision Dispensing, and uh, I'd like, you to wel like to welcome you to our booth. So what's your role in the display industry? In the display industry, we would be uh, mostly associated with uh, post-assembly. So we dispense a lot of adhesive products. Um, this is actually an example of one of our fluid management systems, the follower plate. It allows you to maintain a completely degassed dispensing chain. And that's very, very valuable in uh, optics and also for uh, predictable, reliable dispensing. Is it because gas is everywhere, or what, how do, what does it mean, degassed? Uh, what I mean by degassed is there's always gas in the uh, material, the fluid. Uh, it's, you may not be able to see it, but it's always inside. And as soon as you start shearing the material by moving it around or dispensing it, you oftentimes introduce bubbles into it. And so what we do is we degas it. We actually put fluid pressure on the, the fluid itself without actually requiring air pressure. Normally you would require air pressure in some sort of syringe. That dissolves gas into the material. Uh, so you get the gas out? That's right. 100%? Nothing's left? Uh, down to 3 to 10 millibar, we'll say that. It's, uh, what does that mean, 3 to 10? 3 millibar is, uh, would be like a vacuum. Right now we're in about 1,000 millibar. So you apply a vacuum to it, all the bubbles come out. Um, and then people can make their displays? Or what happens, the next step? Uh, the next step would be dispensing the material through one of our piezo dispense heads, uh, either through jetting or through needle dispensing. Um, the Maintaining the, the degas state allows for, um, I was mentioning sort of varying optical products. One of the things that is we're finding is more common uh, is dispensing of silicones to use as a lens uh, instead of actually having a physical lens for mini LED applications and other LED applications. So in that case, you certainly wouldn't want any bubbles in the, in the fluid. So is, that's taking away bubbles also? That's right. But bubbles usually is the air, right? That's or right. yeah, that would be that would be what I mean by degassing. Ah, so take away all the air from the from all these displays, the micro displays, the huge displays, the uh, mostly just the inside of the fluid. So once it's dispensed, like you, what you don't want to do is dispense bubbles because it affects your optical properties. So uh, we're not actually degassing the displays or anything like that. Just the fluids that go into manufacturing and assembly. What else do we see here? Uh, so this is the follower plate system. It is part of our degas dispense chain. Um, it's, you're seeing a dual follower plate here. The purpose of this is uninterrupted 24-7 operation. Uh, it's piston driven for displacing the volume. This system is designed for extremely high viscosity materials. Uh, works very well with silico high, high viscosity silicones. Uh, doesn't apply any air pressure to the fluid. Um, and the two follower plate allows to change over for 24-7 operation. The operator is informed that the fluid is running low. The person goes, they degas a new uh, cup of fluid, and it goes right into the system. Meanwhile, the other follower plate has already taken over for the dispensing. So in the factory, there will be a bunch of those? Or just uh, one does everything? I, the, the reason, the only reason to increase the number of units is that you are trying to increase your uh, production output. The, we do a lot of testing both in Germany as well as in San Diego and uh, we usually we start from customer requirements and cycle time, we demonstrate what we can and then if they're looking to scale, oftentimes it just involves buying more of them. What do we see here? What we see here is the, uh, our 25 liter tank. This would be the beginning of that degas dispense chain I was mentioning. Fluid goes into the uh, system, close the lid, degas the material, and then uh, obviously you don't want to regas and degas your material every time you have to add more in. So we offer this siphon wand. You can uh, put new material in the system and only degas that material. Uh, on the bottom of the unit, we have a piston pump. That piston pump allows, to, uh, allows you to move the fluid into the next uh, phase of the system without actually putting any air pressure on it. Nice. And what do we see over there? We see over here, this is actually the 3 liter version of our 25 liter tank. Only difference, 3 liters instead of 25 liters. We still offer the stirrer option. Uh, and just to the left of that, we have our 2K mixing product. 
It, uh, it's uh, used for a variety of different materials. We both do active and, uh, or sorry, static and dynamic mixing. Um, high viscosity, low viscosity, one to one, up to one to forty thousand steps. Um, it, it works. It works very well for uh, those types of applications. And what's over there? Uh, here is where our, our sort of flagship primary product uh, is our piezo dispenser. We call it the Superior Jet. It is a differential piezo-driven system that gives you a lot of control over both the rise and the fall of the piston, which in turn gives you more dispense control. So this, you're famous about this? This is, yep. Yeah. Uh, and uh, this other things there? Yeah, so these are the uh, some of the examples of the seats or nozzles that we put onto the, the valve. It just depends on the application. We offer sizes from, from 15 microns all the way up to a millimeter uh, in diameter. We have ones that are designed for heat sensitive applications with this copper jacket, better heat transfer, uh, needle dispensing, extended nozzles for clearance, that uh, a wide variety just to fit the applications. So, so where's your company based and are you famous in the display industry? Uh, we are getting into the display industry. Our, our headquarters are in Dachau, Germany. All uh, design and development and manufacturing takes place there. We're highly vertically integrated so we create our own circuit boards, uh, we fab our own steel, uh, you live in Germany? I don't live in Germany. Uh, I'm actually from our San Diego office or in Vista, California. Um, we do application development and validation there. And so a customer comes with requirements and fluid, they send it to us and we demonstrate what's possible uh, to prepare a report on that. And if there's additional customization required, that will end up going to Germany. 